today and I'm very happy to share this moment with you. But in the first place, I must apologize for keeping you waiting for this long. I was told you came here very early. Forgive us. When we came, the morning shows, all the radio stations and the television stations in Kumasi want to hear a word from me. As we speak, we have disappointed about four of them. Mm. But I say no, and come and see my chiefs. Thank you very much. <laughs> and being one of you, there's no way I can come into Kumasi without coming to for my blessings. So I'm here for you to bless me before I go and do the main thing that I have to do. I always have to come home for the blessings that I need. And I know you pray for me always. I don't want it, maybe it's Sanla or any other day before I'll send my rice and my sugar to you. <laughs> but I need to come for what you have to also give me, exactly. which is a blessing that I need. Exactly. So here, we are here to change the mindset of the youth in Ghana and Kumase as a whole. We realize that a lot of things are going wrong. I'm doing this because I love the youth of the country and things might change. There are a lot of indiscipline going on. The youth are becoming lazy and they are disturbing the chiefs of almost every community. So, I try to spend a little bit of my time to spend time with the youth, to find out their problems, to change the way they think, 
to direct them into the right path. So if we are here today, this is why I came here. Um, I was told that uh, you are building one big mosque. So when I was coming, almost all the mosques in Ghana are really on my heart. I'm supporting a lot of youth, like the Madina youth, uh, 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 supporting a lot of mosques. Almost every mosque they are building in Ghana, I try to contribute towards the building of that mosque. So on my way here, I said, no, let me bring you a thousand bags of cement to, for the building of the mosque. And that is not the last. I'll continue supporting you and continue and continue and continue. And so far as I'm part of you, we shall see the change. We shall see a big change. Thank you very much, my children, and thank you all of you. country is heading towards a certain direction and we in the business world must be able to do our part to make sure that the youth come to change their mindset. Um, I can tell you for a fact that the Koku over there is a product from there. He read chemistry. Now he's a big time entrepreneur. Yeah, so I mean, uh, these are the things we're looking at. And the incubation center here, and we are happy to support it, uh, both physically, financially, and whatever that we have to do. But then is trying to bridge the gap between academia and the business world. Um, when you look at what is what is going on, there's a lot of indiscipline because the youth don't have certain direction. They don't even have goals, and. Um, the initiative that you are taking here, when I follow, you are, you are I, I don't like using the word chaining out, but you are producing a lot of uh, good students from here. Thank you. It's also about no, time. Let's, 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 <laughs> it, it doesn't fall anything. Let us <laughs> It's also about time um, some of us give back to the, to the little ones coming out of school. Um, it doesn't change a thing. The, the, the dude, I came from the streets, if you read my book. Um, and it gives me much joy to see somebody standing on my shoulder to be taller than me. That the, tomorrow I will not be able to see you will see. Immediately I'm with anybody to my shoulder becomes taller than me. So that is why we are here today. Um, we have already partnered with you. And, uh, we have to be talking. We have to see your needs. Not only coming to talk to the student, which which is the part I am excited because it's not about the money. <laughs> with the Mandan Entrepreneur Challenge, the winner takes hundred thousand dollars. But it's not the hundred thousand dollars. But the person behind the business, that is what we are here to teach the student. Mm -hmm. That you can give a million dollar to a, an idiot who burn all. Mm -hmm. But if you give a hundred dollars to a smart person, 
with discipline, the person will be able to turn it around. So, being an entrepreneur, attitude is something that uh, we keep singing. Um, we will, we will forever sing that song or we'll sing that song, as my mother told me. We will never stop singing the music of attitude. So we will see this country change in a certain direction. So we are here to make sure to, to we, we, I also don't like talking to the student like we are giving lecture. We communicate, we interact, we talk. I like listening to them. I don't know about your career guidance desk. And what the, the season two of the Mangan Entrepreneur Challenge is serving almost 16,000 uh, applicants. And if you read their business proposal, amazing business proposal, mm. and they don't have common sense. <laughs> Forgive me. Uh, they, they don't have what it takes. And you can see that they have been trained academically sharp, not smart, everything that can happen. But when it comes to taking the reality step, there's always a problem. The best journalist is Shia. Oh, I got you president. The time is definitely matters. All we've been waiting for is actually here. Can you give can you please the abstract and ask me welcome? Doctor Daniel. I'm here right now with some big businessmen. I 
I'm here with your Ama, uh, Mr. Kofi Amprofi. He was one of the biggest of the Wall Street in New York. He's home now and running multimedia dollar business. I'm here with Benji. He's the sole agent for Mantra. I'm here with Abuaji. The Abuaji you saw in Taxi Driver just won a contract from me, about $2 million. You saw him in Taxi Driver, like he was joking in Taxi Driver, but Abuaji had a purpose. Today he's sitting here in suit. Everybody has something special in him. It's how you tap it. I'm here with Captain Solomon. Captain Solomon is the biggest, one of the biggest, the world, biggest pilot in the world. He flew the biggest jet in the world. Very disciplined pilot. One day we were flying to America. Now he is my pilot. Give him a hand. We were going to New York about a month ago or two. And we were flying at about uh, 38 degree session, uh, 38 degree altitude. And there were serious problems. I was worried. <laughs> I was worried. But he was very calm and smiling. And I said to myself, is this part of serious? <laughs> Whilst I was sitting all over, he <laughs> was very relaxed. And you know what he said? He said, boss, come, let me show you something. And took me to the cockpit. He said, you see the clouds? All I need to do is either to navigate around the clouds or go through the clouds. Don't worry, nothing will happen to you. Whilst I was shaking all over, he was so relaxed, telling me he had to navigate around the clouds or through the clouds. And I said to myself, I didn't tell you, but let me tell you something to pilot. <laughs> that day, you know what I said to my head? <laughs> you are killing me. You are taking me. You have to navigate around the clouds. Oh, go through the crowd. What do you want me to tell you? <laughs> Which one do you want me to tell you? Should I tell you what to do on navigate around? But that is life. Life comes with turbulence. Every stage of your life is turbulence. As a student, as a young entrepreneur, every minute of your life, you face turbulence. But the question is, how do you navigate around the turbulence that you face? That makes you think. That makes you what you are. The responsibility is on you. You have to be responsible for your own life. You have to be responsible for your own future, you have to be responsible for the world around you. Responsibility comes in many forms, but the word responsibility is what can make or unmake you. Responsibility doesn't have age. 
You can have the best parents in the world. You can have the best teachers or lecturers in the world. You can attend the best school like here in the West. But if you are not responsible, what happens? You cannot afford to be reckless as a young interpreter or a young student. Waking up every day, you owe your own responsibility to yourself. Responsibility means focus. You have to be focused. You owe your own responsibility to yourself. Every single one of you has something special. Every single one of you, you have something special in you. Until you take a single step, you will never be able to identify that speciality in you. Some of you can speak public in public. Look at what the Panella Court is doing here. Brilliant. I went to Saito. How many of you know Saito? <laughs> so you all know Saito. I went to Saito. My daughter started reading, reading at the age of six years. I started reading. <laughs> Do you want to know? But I think that's it. <laughs> it doesn't matter how hard it is. You have to take that single step of into responsibility. You can be a great politician, a great doctor, a great nurse. A great businessman, but you saw all the ten contestants here, right? Yeah. They have taken a great step into their future. Whether they're successful or not successful, they have taken that step. Have you taken a step? Have you taken a move? You might have ideas, so many ideas in you. But what step have you taken into your own future? Do you sleep too much? Are you disciplined or indisciplined? On the street of Kumasi, Accra, everywhere in Ghana, we have too much indiscipline. Are you part of that team? What are you? I'm not here to give you a great speech. I'm not here to give you a lecture. I'm not here to tell you something sweet. I'm not here to give you sweet talk. I'm here to tell you life is hard. I'm here to let you know that life is hard and life is going to be hard and harder and harder. Don't wake up today and think your tomorrow will be better than your today or your yesterday. Your tomorrow is going to be more difficult. Your professors, your lectures are going to set more hands difficult questions for you. <laughs> if you cheat, you must be dismissed from the school. I don't condone wrong. This 
discipline is this wrong, you have to pay for it. Tomorrow, we will always be difficult. So it's up to you to own your own responsibility in your own hands. That is what will make your tomorrow better. I can tell you for a fact that now it's easy to break through into prosperity. In our days, we don't have social media. We don't have internet. We don't have internet. Even if you are going to see your girlfriend, you have to take a bicycle <laughs> and go five ten miles. If you need to get there, how do you get there to my way out of the house? It's a problem. Just think about it. But now, just by text message, you meet there at the corner. <laughs>